All right, let's learn something about the SQL statement, which is a structured query language. And that's the language that you use to talk to the database. If you want to insert something to the database, delete, update, select, you use structured query language. So if I run right now, select all from students, you can see that I've inserted few more records into the database. The star over here means, the asterisk over here means that all, everything. Give me everything from the database and all the columns and all the records. But you can limit it. You can say that I don't want all the records. I only want name and I only want cohort from students. And now you can see the ID is missing because we explicitly said that we want the name and we want the, we, we want the cohort. Now I can also say select name from students. And now you can see that it's only bringing me names. But we can make things a little bit more, uh, I would say flexible by providing where clauses. Like I want all the students who belong to cohort 12. Okay, how do I do that? So select the ID of the student, the name of the student, and the cohort of the student from students. So this is going to select, if I run this, this is going to select, well, pretty much everything because there is no filter criteria that I have defined. So let's go ahead and say where, now anything that comes after where is now I'm filtering where the cohort is so you can kind of like read in terms of English also, right? So select, give me the ID, the name, and the cohort from the table, which is students. Well, only for those students who are in cohort number 12. So looking at this data, which one do you think it's going to return? Let's go ahead and run this. Mary, Alex, and Steve. Mary, Alex, and Steve, not John, because John is in cohort number 10. Now you can also uh, provide or add more filter criteria. So I can say the same thing where cohort is equal to 12. And, all right, so uh, let's go ahead and do a select. So select all from students. So we have these students and you can you have already learned how to do a one where clause like where cohort is 12. But what about if I want to do multiple conditions like select all from students or so select all the students where the cohort equals to 12 and the name of the student is Mary. And you can see that you can combine and and you can return, it's only going to return one row. All right. And you can combine as many ands as you like to filter it again and again. Let's do some sort of a sorting also. So select all from students where, well, Maybe in this case, you don't even need where. So we can say order by. So which thing you want to order by? Let's order by ID. All right, so it's already ordered by ID. So let's order by ID, but in descending order. Order by basically means that sorted. Sort by ID. By default, it sorts in ascending order, meaning the one will be on the top two, three, and four. But if you say DESC or descending, now you can see that the ID four is first. All right. You can order by uh, basically any column that you like. So if I order by name in descending order, you can see that Alex is now at the end and Steve is actually at the top. So Ordering is really, really important because most of the time, I, I mean, if you're building uh, an application uh, and it's that application, that web application is taking in some sort of a data, 
like some sort of a records, uh, you want to most probably order by date created, right? You want the latest one, the latest record on the top. So that is how it happens behind the scene. You use the order by, and then you provide the name of the column that you want to uh, filter it by. So if I say order by cohort, you can see, I will get all the records, but now they're ordered by the cohort. So the 12 is a higher number. So it's going in the top and the 10 is less than 12. So it's going to come uh, after that. So there are a lot of commands, a lot of SQL statements that you should definitely check it out. Uh, you have like delete and update, uh, but you know, try it out. I mean, there are like basically unlimited amount of things that you can do with a structured query language, the SQL, and uh, try it out. And, you know, the result will be like pretty much in front of you. Uh, when you run the command, it will show you what the command is going to return, how many records it's going to return, and how they're being returned like in descending order and ascending order. All right, so give it a try.